of the Big Ben. Amen. A church you can go home. If you don't have a home church, well, you have one right here. You can join us <laughs> by um, audio, video, or, or you can join us by being here with us. Amen. When we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And we want to welcome our, our NBC family, visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio and video. God bless you. And so glad to have you. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Listen, don't leave as you can. Leave change. The old Amen. is out, the new is in. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Just remember that he's not finished with you. He wants to use you. Here's the thing is, make yourself available. He's got great plans for you, and none of them include defeat. But you have to make yourself available. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. So Amen. praise God. See yourself a winner. See yourself a champion. And see yourself an overcomer. Praise God. Amen. Woo! Before I get any further, let's uh, grab our Bibles, yeah. grab your swords, and uh, let's make this declaration together and say it like you mean yeah. it, church. Amen? Yes. Don't just uh, go through the motions, but this is a declaration. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. I'll never be the same. Changing from glory to glory. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Amen. A few, few nuggets before we start. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Those of you watching, those of you who are listening, listen to this. We will never change the world by going to church. Mm. A lot of us have this mindset. We went to church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can only change the world by being the church. Yes. Know this, that you are the church. You are the body of Christ. You are the Amen. church of God. Going somewhere to happen for somebody. So, you know, coming to this building ain't going to do anything. Amen. We ain't going to help the world this way. We're going to change the world by being the church of God. Yes. Amen. Woo, come on. Glory. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. He told uh, his disciples, go into all the world and preach the gospel to move. Yeah. To every creature, not just those that you like. Right. Sometimes you gotta share the word with some that you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You who believe in me and baptized will be saved. He who does not believe in me will be condemned. And those yeah. these signs will follow those who believe. Uh -huh. That's us. Yeah. Amen. These signs will follow you. Yeah. And know these. These signs are uh let me see. <clears throat> Cast out. In my name, you will cast out demons. You will speak with new tongues. They will uh, take up serpents. They will uh, they will drink uh, anything deadly and will not har harm them. Amen. So, and you will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And also says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Yes. Amen. Woo, man, Lord, I'm already Amen. blessed. <laughs> I just Lord. grabbed a few little things. I read these to the church already. I want to read them to you. The church is not an audience to be entertained. Too many people looking for entertainment. Amen. Right, yeah. We're an army of God that Amen. needs to be empowered. And we come to be empowered. Yeah. Amen. You spend time with him so that you can be empowered. I'm a soldier of God. I'm in God's army. And I want to be empowered to go out and do what he wants me to do. I'm not just into entertainment. Amen. So let's, Amen. let's get this right, church. The church is not an audience to be entertained. It is an army to be empowered. Ooh, hallelujah. Glory. And we're going to use this scripture in a few minutes. So I want to give it to you right now. It's a new day. Today is a new blessing from God. Don't let yesterday's failures and pains ruin the beauty of this new day. Be thankful, be grateful, and be happy. Every day has its own promises of love, hope, peace, success, joy, strength, and many, many more blessings mm -hmm. from our God. It is a new day to rejoice, be glad, and give thanks. Yes. Be happy in Him. Amen. Amen. There's too many things going on right now for you to be sad. And you know what? As a, well, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. All right. <laughs> because we're going to be talking about that here in a few minutes. And we're also going to be talking about the Beatitudes. We opened this a few weeks ago. Beatitudes. One of the Beatitudes for today is be happy yeah and that's what we're going to be talking about yeah. be happy so yeah. are you ready amen i'm ready praise god let me 
Thank you, God. Is that your title, Be Happy? Yes, that's my title. Be happy. <laughs> Believers should be happy, joyful people. You know, if you listen to the news, you look at TV or whatever, wherever you get the news from, uh -huh. radio, TV, yeah. your cell phones, it doesn't matter. It it's nothing but sadness. Yeah. Negative stuff, you know. Yeah. And if you listen to it and don't renew your mind, mm -hmm. you could be just like the world. Oh, You're yeah. going to be sad and speaking to yeah. things, magnifying the negative instead mm -hmm. of the positive. Right. Magnifying the problem instead of magnifying God. Uh -huh. I can correct this. And I can be happy. All I need to do is magnify him. Yes. When I magnify him, I say, wait a minute. This yeah. is going on. This is happening. But wait, I'm a child of God. Yes. Yes. I'm going to magnify him. Yes. When I magnify him, I'm going to be happy. But pastor, you don't know what I'm going through. Well, then you don't know my God. If you don't know my God, it's time to get saved. Amen. Because if you know your God and you have a relationship with your God, you wouldn't let problems have you. He says, cast them on me mm -hmm. because I care for you. So why are you still holding on to them? Cast it on him. Give it to him. And this, just not give it to him. He says, cast it on him. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you cast a net, you just don't drop it. You just throw it out and give yeah. it here. Have all this. He says, well, thank you. <laughs> Every morning when you wake up, declare this out loud. I am going to be happy and enjoy this day. Why? Because... Psalms 118, 24, New King James says, This is the day the Lord has made, says we. Mm -hmm. You can say I, or you can say Jose. You can personalize this. Mm -hmm. Put your name on there and says, Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. That's it. Once again, you don't know what I'm going through. But God does. Are you giving it to him? If you're not giving it to him, meaning you're not letting go. Right. You got to let go. And let God. Amen. When you let go, He's going to have it. Mm -hmm. And you got to give it to Him. Amen. Amen. And you know, <laughs> we get in situations, God knows. Uh -huh. But you know, it's time to release it. Give it all to Him. Keep going, Kermit. Yes. Well, Psalm 18, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. I just wrote down rejoice here. Rejoice. Be happy. Celebrate, cheerful, delightful, be joyful, be pleased. Mm -hmm. That's what rejoice means. Mm -hmm. There might be some more meanings to it, but rejoice and be glad in it. He says rejoice, yes. be happy, celebrate, cheerful, delightful. Lord, thank you for this beautiful day you've given me. Amen. It is, I'm celebrating, I'm being cheerful, I'm being delightful, I'm mm -hmm. being joyful, and I'm pleased with the new day you mm -hmm. have given me. Thank God this miracle I just experienced. I opened my eyes. Mm -hmm. You woke me up. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Wouldn't you be so happy? Mm -hmm. You know, immediately, some of us immediately, as soon as we wake up, bam, we start thinking, oh, man, I got to go to work. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, we start thinking the negative. Mm -hmm. Already feeding on the, on the negative instead of feeding on the positive. Yeah, yeah. We got to change that. Yeah. You could change it. Yes. Nobody can change it for you. You need to change this. Amen. And it says rejoice, be glad in it. What is glad means? Again, be happy. Be ready. Yes. Be prepared. Be eager. And be pleased. So guess what? This is a new day the Lord has given me. I'm going to be glad, meaning I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be focused. Amen. Amen. When you when you do these things, you know, he says, hey, I'm giving you today. Mm -hmm. You do something with it. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Amen. Are you going to just fall by the wayside? Are you just going to listen to the negative stuff? Or are you just going to be prepared and ready for what God has for you? Mm. Spend time with Him. Man, I'm getting energized. You get energized to sit and do nothing? Yeah. No. You get energized to just worry about stuff? No. No. You get energized because you're going to step out into the world. Yes. Amen. I'm going to step out in faith. I'm going to step out in power. Man, you're being empowered to go out and do what you got to do. I got giants waiting on me. And you know, I can't ah. wait to get to them. <laughs> and they're going to run right. for me. So submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. He's going to flee. Amen. He's also not giving you a spirit of fear, That's but a right. power of love and of a sound, sound mind. mind. Amen. Man, they know when I'm walking out. Mm. Man, they're stepping out. Yeah. They're, they're going. They're running. They're going backwards. Okay. Thank you.
God created men and women to be for happiness, mm -hmm. and yet the majority in the world don't experience it. They don't know. They don't know how without Jesus. Yes. They don't know without Jesus. You can have all the finances. You can have all the things in the world, mm -hmm. and you're still sad. Yeah. You're still defeated. All right. Why? Because you're without Jesus. Uh -huh. Many people think happiness is it based entirely on circ out outward some circumstances. Well, if I had oh, the money, no. if I had the health, if I had a better job, if 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 I had a better spouse, if I had a better <laughs> house, a better vehicle, better wheels, you could have a hundred more. If I had better, a better thing, then we'd be happy. No, no, no. And I gave you this scripture here. Second Corinthians, we all know this. Second Corinthians five seventeen says, New King James says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he be, uh, he's a new creature. All things are what? Passed away, behold, all things have become new. new. And I gave you this one because the old used to be a cocoon, right? Is that how you say it? Cocoon? Yeah. I don't say that word too many. <laughs> cocoon. It used to be an ugly cocoon. Mm. And now it's a new thing. It's what? A beautiful butterfly. Yes. Ain't that something? Yeah. Look at all the beautiful things God put together. Yes, it is. How he created this beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. But he also created that cocoon. Yes, he did. But you know, he says, the old is out, yeah. the new is in. Yeah. You know, when you receive Christ, mm -hmm. if you have it, now's the time. Yes. This is your chance. <laughs> we'll yes. give you an opportunity. Amen. But the old is out, the new is in. You're Amen. a new creature in Christ. Amen. I guarantee you, you go around friends, old friends, Ooh. family. And they'll see you and they'll know everything about you. <laughs> and they don't know anything about the new birth you just That's had. It. That's it. Because they can't see in the spirit realm. That's they it. can't see the spiritual birth. That's they can it. only see the physical. Mm -hmm. And they see you and immediately they know all about you. We grew together. I know all about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what you do, what you say, and all these things before you hang out, all your habits and everything else. But God knows us better now. Yes. Amen. We're new creatures in Christ. New creatures. Born again. Had yeah. a spiritual birth. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, this beautiful butterfly has changed. Yes. So have we. Amen. We got to start living a new life. Mm -hmm. Forget about, don't, don't, you're not a prisoner of the past. That's it me. was just a learning thing. Mm -hmm. I've learned, and I'm going to press into the new thing. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do. It's not an outward thing, but an inward thing. Uh -huh. It's a spiritual birth. Amen. That you can't see. We're a spirit. We have a soul. And we live in a body. Amen. You can see my body. Amen. But you can't see my spirit. I have a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. We're first born again and everything goes great. Everything is nice, nice, nice. But guess what? Time goes by and priorities change. Things change. And all of a sudden, there's no relationship. Mm -hmm. No relationship with him. Mm -hmm. No reading of the word. Mm -hmm. No praying. Mm -hmm. And happiness and joy goes out. Mm -hmm. And guess what comes in? The world comes in. Mm -hmm. Bad companies come back. Mm -hmm. Bad habits come back. Yeah. And I was I, I had broke down bad sin comes in. But you know what? You don't have to put bad in front of sin because yeah, sin yeah. is bad. That's it. Sin is sin. There's no little sin or big sin or middle yes. sin. Sin is sin. Mm -hmm. So the bad company, the bad habits, the bad things mm -hmm. will lead to sin. Why? Because right. you're not walking in, in Him anymore. You're not having a relationship. You're not studying mm -hmm. to renew your mind with the mm -hmm. things of God. Mm -hmm. Now you're in the world just like the All world. Right. That's why it's so important that you're in the world but not of the oh, world. Right. And listen to what the world has to say. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to start confessing what they're confessing. Mm -hmm. You're going to start saying what they're saying. Mm -hmm. I say, wait a minute, that's what they're saying, but mm -hmm. I'm going to say what the Word of God yes. says. Thank you, Lord. And I'm not going to magnify the problem. I'm going to magnify my God. Yes. Amen. 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 And I can do all things through Christ. Things. That means that I don't have to live out negative stuff. Yes. I put a guard on my mouth mm -hmm. and watch what I say. Mm -hmm. Death and life on the power of the words you speak. We need to know this. It's very important. Words are not trash. Yes. Words can have life or death 
but Very you good. are speaking them, so you're yes. going to reap what you sow. That's it. Woo, hallelujah. Come on, Lord. <laughs> so it leads to sin. Yeah. And guess what? Hell breaks loose. Yeah. And it's <laughs> hell without Jesus. Oh, yeah. That's my bumper sticker on my truck. says, it's hell without Jesus. Yeah. I'll make sure I've got it on the back. Everybody can see that. Mm -hmm. It's hell without Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you don't know it, Mm -hmm. and a lot of you do but you mm -hmm. got to make a change listen to yes. this ask Lucifer mm -hmm. or Satan mm -hmm. he want to put himself above God God yes. says you're out of here mm -hmm. man he blew him out of he, out of heaven like a lightning mm -hmm. straight down mm -hmm. amen Adam Adam and Eve lost the whole thing they had a, a garden of Eden and they lost it all how about the prodigal son? Mm -hmm. He says, hey, Dad, thank you, Dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me what's mine. I'm out of here. Out of here. Yep. But guess what? The world got a hold of him. Yep. And he got a hold of the world. Mm -hmm. And he was down and out. He said, man, yeah. if I could just go back to Father. Some of yeah. you listening. Yeah. Some of you watching. Uh -huh. It's time to come back home. Mm -hmm. It's time to come back to Father. He's waiting. He's been waiting on you. Mm -hmm. You know? And you just been wait, holding back, holding back. You know, trying to please the world, trying to please God. I mean, uh, your friends. No, it's time you yeah. give it all up and please Him. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> How about Judas? Judas says, hey, he sold him out for 30 pieces of silver. Uh -huh. And here's one I want you to know. I want you to remember this one. King Agrippa. Yes. King Agrippa in the Acts. You can mark this down. King Agrippa. Agrippa uh, Acts 26 28 mm -hmm. New King James says King Agrippa said to Paul you almost oh. persuaded me to become a Christian mm -hmm. almost, almost is not salvation almost is not going to get you into heaven almost okay? so almost is not good enough mm -hmm. almost you know how many people are in hell right now because they almost mm -hmm. almost became Christian it's not good Amen. to be thinking about it now. Do it now and change now while you can. You got to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart. God raised him from the dead. It says, and you will be saved. Mm -hmm. But you got to do it now. You know, hey, I don't know who you're trying to please. Maybe it's you. You got to get off the throne and put God on the throne. Confess him as your Lord and Savior. And, you know, don't die for, for somebody else Amen. that's holding you down. Amen. Oh, man, hallelujah, man. We're yes. better, better than your amen in there. Amen. The amplifier says this. The amplifier says Praise this. God. Amplifier says this. And then Agrippa mm -hmm. said to Paul, In a short time mm -hmm. and with so little effort, you almost persuaded almost. me to become a Christian. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want you to know this, church. God has you shared Him. To somebody mm -hmm. says God loves you why don't you accept Christ mm -hmm. you know or he calls you to sow a seed into someone yes. we sow he gives mm -hmm. the increase yes he does okay yes. we don't try to convince people right then all you're called to do is to sow, sow the seed, seed. Yes, okay you don't have to argue with them you don't have to fight with them yes, you yes. don't have to convince them right then and there that seed is sown. Yes. When you sow a seed, it's going to grow. It's yes. going to be watered, and it's going to grow. But God's going to give the increase, not you. Amen. Amen. God's going to see to it, and they're going to hear from others, and they're going to hear from wherever a minister, a, a ministry, a church. Mm -hmm. They're going to hear, and it's going to be watered, and it's going to come, and it's going to grow. Amen. So. You just sow the seed. That's, you be obedient to do that. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Number two says too many, too many anxieties, too many cares, too many problems, burdens. Is that ring a bell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? Mm -hmm. Anxieties, cares, problems, too many struggles, mm -hmm. rage, fights, brawls, scraps, no. scuffles, whatever you want to do, oh, whatever, wow. whatever you want to call it. But there's a whole lot of rage going on right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to have peace about this. Yes. You got to have the Prince of Peace. Yes. <laughs> and you got to use this peace. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Living a defeated life. No word. 
no relationship, mm. no reading, and no authority. Mm. You have no authority in you. Mm -hmm. Basically, you're living a defeated life as a child of God. All he didn't right. call you to be a defeated Christian. He called you to be a winning Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Listen to this. Defeated believer or defeated Christian mm -hmm. is worse than a lost sinner. At least he knows he's losing. At least he knows he's going to hell. Uh -huh. But you have accepted Christ and are doing nothing about it. And you are not doing anything. You're not making yourself available. You're not reading. You're not fellowshipping with him. And you're not uh, reading the word or praying. And you're living a defeated life. And you're a child of God. It shouldn't be this way. It's just like having a, a millionaire dad and you doing nothing. But we have everything through him. But we have to be obedient to him. Yes. Yeah. And be what he's called us to be. And use the authority he's given us. Amen. Don't be a defeated Christian. You know what the Bible said, brothers? That's what I say is, don't let a full-time devil overtake a part-time believer. Mm. Amen. Don't be a part-time believer because a full-time, you ain't no match to a full-time devil. That's right. You got to be a full-time in order for you. When you're full-time, you're going to use that authority he's given you. And you're going to tell the devil where to go and what to do. Amen. And he says, submit, and he's going to flee. He's going to go. On our way to heaven, daily, sadly, depressed, instead of happy, joyful, and singing, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, Nehemiah 8.10, here we go. We're going to be talking about the last part of it. Neither be says that for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Go to the next one. Mm -hmm. This is what we're talking about. The joy of the Lord is what? Your strength. Your strength. We says my, you can scratch the my and just put Jose. Uh, <laughs> put your name there. Yeah. Jose is strength. He's my strength. Uh -huh. Amen. Nehemiah 8.10. I guess you could say 10, 810B or the bottom part of it. <laughs> Amen. So start enjoying your life. Be happy. Be joyful. Mm -hmm. Don't just endure or tolerate your days. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your days. Amen. You know what? Like? It takes people off. Because don't you know what's going on in the world right now? <laughs> and they want you to worry. And they want you to yeah. take the care. And they want you to be sad and cry and all uh -huh. these other things. Say, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what my God says. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And I'm going to do what my my god says i'm gonna do what the word of god amen. says not what people are telling me to do amen. not what the world's telling me to do mm -hmm. amen i'm gonna do what the word of god tells me to do smile <laughs> <laughs> give your face a a, 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 a facelift <laughs> smile once in a while okay. drop the frown amen. amen get with other believers and be happy be joyful laugh smile yeah amen amen that's why we come together on Sun Sundays. We, uh -huh. meet, we meet every Sunday to encourage one another. Yes. Have time together. Magnify our God together. Amen. Yeah. Psalms 34 and 8 says. Here we go. This translation says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes. Oh, the joys of those who take refuge in him. This translation says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is what? Good, good, blessed, happy, fortunate mm -hmm. to be envied Amen. is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. Yes. Some people are going to envy you. Say, you right. don't envy me. You can have the same God. That's it. He died for you too. Mm -hmm. So why are you not confessing him? Yes. All you need to do is confess him with your mouth, Amen. with your words. Uh -huh. that yes. He is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And you shall be saved. Yes. Psalms 34 and 5, uh, no, never mind. Uh, 34, uh, 37, 4. New King James says, Delight yourself also yes. in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. Delight yourself in him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And uh, Proverbs 17, 22. Mm -hmm. Okay, leave right there. Psalms 37 and 4 and 5 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. Man, the word of God is powerful. Yes. Amen. And it's a blessing.
but you got to get it in you so that you can speak it out. Yeah. If you don't get it in you, you can't speak it out. You know how we learn some of the songs we, we sing? <laughs> we, we, we learn it. We, we, we yeah. study it. Amen? We read it and we get it in us. And then we speak it out. That's how we learn some bad things too. We yeah. get it in us and it comes out. Uh -huh. But we can do the Word of God the same way. We got to study it, get it in us, and then it's going to come out. Amen. But the, the Bible says that out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Amen. So the words that you're going to speak are mm -hmm. live. Mm -hmm. Amen. Living water. Keep yes. going. Here we go. <laughs> a cheerful heart is what? Good medicine. Good medicine. But a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Proverbs yes. 17, 22. Uh -huh. Go check it out for yourself. That's it. New, uh, the new uh, translation says here, a cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine. Yes, it is. But a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Too many believers walk around sad, defeated, mm -hmm. unhappy. Yeah. And you, know, you can't do the Lord's work like this. That's it. Amen. You, you, can't, you, cannot, you cannot go. I mean, you got to change this. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go uh, get in your car or your truck or whatever you drive, and uh -huh. you're going to go somewhere, and it's got a flat tire. Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere to yes, change that flat tire. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what we need to change? We need to change our attitude. Amen. 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 We need to change our attitudes. We yes. studied uh, the Beatitudes, and one of the Beatitudes is be happy. Uh -huh. Amen. Be happy. Be yeah. rejoiceful. Be glad. Mm -hmm. Be excited. Be ready. Be available. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Be giving. Be kind. Be joyful. And all these things. And some of these things we can just post up somewhere where we yes. can see them. Yes. And we got to remind ourselves that we can do these things yes. because the Word of God says yes. we can do all things all through Him. Yeah. But sometimes we, we got to remind ourselves. You know, yeah. before you study, before you go take a test, yes. you study, you study, you study. You've been studying all this time. And then you review and review and review. You meditate. But we do the same thing with the Word of God. Yes. We got to get it in us. If we get it in us, it's going to come out when yeah, it needs yeah. to come out. Amen. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> the Lord. So decide to be happy, joyful, and smile right where you are. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't be sad where you're at. It says bloom where God plants you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here because this is what God wants me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's not get ourselves in, in places that we don't need to be. Mm -hmm. I got myself there. Yeah. Yep. Amen. By my actions. Mm. Now we got to be careful the things we say. Now words are actions, so that we could be where He wants us, Amen. But wherever He wants us, let's be glad where we're at. You know, you see uh, plants, flowers growing in weird places. It doesn't stop them from blooming. Right. It doesn't stop them from having a beautiful flower. Just because it was on the side on a crack. Or, or up, up somewhere, I've seen plants going on, on trees. I've seen a uh -huh. cactus on a tree. Yeah, and you know what? Yeah. It's got a root to it. It's been watered. And it's having a good time and it's blooming. Amen. It's got a, everything has a flower. And that flower is beautiful. I'm just going to be joyful. Thank you, Lord. And be happy wherever he puts me. If they have an attitude, you can be... <laughs> Sad every 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 time. You know, I used to be retired military, but the military used to send me places. And if you don't have peace about it and be happy about it, you could be sad for four years. I'm gonna be here for four years, man. I'm gonna be miserable for four years. No. Be glad. Lord, I'm serving him first, and then my military. Yes, amen. 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 And I'm gonna be happy and they're gonna benefit from it because I'm going to be happy about where God has me, and they're going to reap my best. Amen. And I'm going to do my best for God. Amen. Make a firm decision to be happy and enjoy your your race, your mission, your journey. Yes. When you do, you'll begin to experience an abundant, happy, joyful living life that mm -hmm. Jesus died to give you. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, John 10, 10, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy yeah. God is not going to take those things from you. Mm -hmm. It's the enemy that wants to stop yeah. you. 
steal, kill, destroy. Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So let's get the word right, you know, yes. just because we hear somebody blowing off some anger, you know, doesn't mean <laughs> that that's for me. Yes, yes. You know, they, they, they don't know what the word of God says. I need to know what the word, I say, excuse me. Mm -hmm. I take it that you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior. Right. Because the word of God says this, mm -hmm. says the devil, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Says Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. If you want to have life more abundantly, why don't you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior? And not have a miserable life, a defeated life. I just sow the seed. And I'm praying, Lord, thank you for, for the increase. Amen. I'm praying for it to grow. Let's go to Psalms 100, one of our favorites. Oh yeah. And we do use our Bibles. Amen. Oh, we had it up there too, a carpet. That's good. Thank you. But uh, it's good to open our Bibles. Yes. <laughs> it's good to open the Word of God. And some of us have never done it. Oh, and we boy. need to start doing it. Yeah. If you're a child of God, you born again. You uh -huh. need to open the Word of God. Yes. It's been time where He never talks to me. <laughs> well, you never know, open the Word. Uh -huh. You never open the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know what the Bible is? Yeah. It's basic instruction before leaving earth, you know? That's it. And we need to open it up and read it mm -hmm. and get this in us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's too much. You know, I can't do it. But the Bible says, it's not in the, you can't. It mm -hmm. says, I can. Yes. I mean, I can, I'm in a can-do person. Yes. I'm a can-do child of God. Amen. I can. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> anyway, the King James says this. Mm -hmm. It says, make a joyful nurse unto the Lord all you know. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Gladness. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Yes. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. It says, enter into his case with thanksgiving. thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his bless name. Thanks. For the Lord is bad. Yeah. Good. Oh. Good. Y'all have to pray for me. <laughs> For the Lord is good, His mercy is everlasting, and His truth endureth to oh, all generations. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise Listen to me. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. All of us. Amen. <laughs> you can say, O oh Lord, or O oh me. Mm. But one of these days, every knee is going to bow. Amen. You might as well do it now. Yes. Amen. Exactly. <laughs> Says, shout to the Lord, all shout, shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Amen. Amen. <laughs> know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and not, and we are, and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name, for the Lord is good, and His love endureth forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations amen that's just another translation yes and you can study all translations and read them all and get them in you amen well praise god that's that's an awesome song amen yes. thank you lord but psalms 1 verse 1 says make a joyful noise unto the lord all ye lands all of us I'm talking about all of us amen joyful noise psalm 16 and 11 says you will show me the path of life. Amen. In your presence is fullness of joy. Amen. At your right hands are pleasures forevermore. Uh -huh. You can see no pleasures <laughs> until you spend time with him and That's be it. with him and be his. Yes. Amen. He's gonna over bless you. Mm. <laughs> He's gonna bless you so much. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Say so thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Philippians 4 14, James says, Rejoice in the Lord. Always and again, I say, Same rejoice. Voice. Remember, rejoice. We read it here. Rejoice means be happy, celebrate cheerfully, uh, yeah. delightfully, and be joyful. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. First Thessalonians five sixteen New Living Translation says, "Be full of joy all the time." Mm -hmm. King James says, "Rejoice always." Always. <laughs> Amen. All the time. Wait a minute. Remember, 
We're a spirit being, we have a soul. Your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. Amen. And we live in a body. Yes. Amen. So we're going to rejoice and be joyful at all times. And rejoice always, not just sometimes. John uh, three sixteen says, For God so loved the world, all the world. the world. You can say all people. Yes. Because Jesus came and was sacrificed for all people, yes, not just did. certain people. That's right. Amen. For God so loved the world, gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Says, whoever believeth in him. That could be you. So if you ever never accepted him, now's the time. Or if you have accepted him, just know that you will not perish, but you have everlasting life. We're going to spend time in eternity in heaven with him. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Don't let the world, don't let people, don't let anybody right. steal your joy. Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. I've got a few in here. It says, don't let the devil steal mm -hmm. your joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember, he comes to steal, kill, destroy. Yes. Don't let the devil. And you know who the devil uses? He uses unbelievers. He yeah. uses people. Yeah. God yeah. uses people. Yeah. The devil uses people. Mm -hmm. Don't let people, don't let the devil steal your joy. Keep That's going. It. I've got a few of these. Don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. That's it. Okay? That's Man, it. this is good. That's it. it says, separate yourself from blessing blockers. There's oh, a lot Lord. of blessing blockers out there. Yes. You got to be careful. Or you should say blessing killers. Yeah. No, blessing blockers. It says, I don't know if you can see this, but it says they purposely distract you with sin, drama, and fear because they can't stand to see you happy. Right. <laughs> they don't want to do it. They don't want to make the commitment. They don't want to confess him as Lord and Savior. But they hate you because you're too happy. <laughs> Why are you so happy? Have you heard the news lately? No. Yeah, I heard the news. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you know how it moves me? It moves me to pray for them. Yeah. But it, it ain't going to steal my joy. That's it. That's it. Amen. I'm on my way to heaven. Yeah. Shout yeah. victory. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, the best way to be happy is to turn the negatives into yeah. positives. Yeah. Don't let anyone steal your joy <laughs> and be thankful for what you have. Yes. On a daily basis, thank you. Right, Lord, right. thank you for this beautiful day here. Amen. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in you. Yes. Amen. But it says, the best way to be happy is let go of the negatives. You know, yeah. some of us don't want to go mm -hmm. of the negative stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we just got to keep reminding ourselves mm -hmm. over and over and yeah, over. Remember, good. the battlefield is the it mind. Is the and those thoughts are going to keep coming back. Mm -hmm. So renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. With the positive. The Word of God is positive. So renew your mind with the Word of God and get rid of the negative thoughts. So next time they pop up, yes. you say, delete. Yeah. You're not going to control me anymore. Mm -hmm. You're not going to steal my joy anymore. That's it. That's it. I'm not going to be sad about this anymore. It. It's in the past. Mm -hmm. And you know when you confess it to him and give it to him? Yes. He's got it. That's it. So if it comes back to you, say, wait a minute. Yeah. I gave it to my God. Uh -huh. So if you bring yeah. it up, you go see him. <laughs> right. Don't see me. It's not mine anymore. Mm -hmm. It's given to him. Yes. Okay. Let's remember these, these basic things that we need to do. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Don't let the past <laughs> steal your present. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The past it. is keep stealing your present. I'm in the now, but I'm still in the past. Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere looking backwards. Nope. In your past. No, you can't drive that way. You can't walk that way. You can't do anything that's way. And you no good to no one. God created you to be happy. God created you to be a winner, a champion, an overcomer, and do all these things. But you got to let go of these. Yes. Amen. Amen. He told Lot, leave Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm going to destroy it. Do not look back. Right. Amen. You're an old is out, new is in. That's so it. forget about the old. It's yeah, time to yeah. press on with the new. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. God's wife turned back, and guess what? Mm -hmm. Life's over. Mm -hmm. 
Pillar of salt. Pillar of salt. Yeah. Be happy. It drives people crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just yes. believing. I'm just, be, I'm just believing this way. Mm -hmm. If people see me happy all the time, <laughs> they'll want to say, "I work with you, God. What are you high on?" <laughs> Man, I'm you can't high. buy this thing, man. It's the best thing yeah, you can get high on. I was high, high on the most high. high. Yes. You know, people want to know, hey, man, what, whatever it is you got, I want some, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to give you Jesus, because that's the best high you yes, can have, baby. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and they don't change me from being happy. <laughs> Matter of fact, I just pray, you know, Lord, wherever I'm at, people mm -hmm. see me, watch your words, watch your actions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm watching my actions. I'm going to be yeah. happy. People going to see Praise me. God. And they're going to be mad or they're going to be glad. Yes, yes. But if they're mad, I pray that this joyful seed is going to take root in them. Yeah. And they'll say, they'll want to know, why are you so yes. happy? Haven't you seen the news? Haven't you seen the negative stuff? Haven't you seen what's going on? Have you heard? Yeah, I've heard. But the greater one is in me. <laughs> greater one. Jesus is in me. And you need Jesus in your yeah. life. Amen? Yes. This is awesome. We're not going to finish all this, but that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> let your smile change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Mm -hmm. And believe me, if you take on the world, it's going to change your smile. Mm -hmm. Your smile is going to go. Your frown is going to show up again. Mm -hmm. Because your choice of receiving it. Yes. I'm not receiving it anymore. That's it. I'm not going to dwell on this. You know, <laughs> don't be, let me see how I want to say this. Don't be the bearer of bad news. Yes, um, yeah. You know, I don't want to keep up with the negative stuff yes. so I can go share it somewhere mm. else. I'm not a bearer of mm. the negative. Mm. I'm a bearer of the good news. Yes, yes. I want to bring good news everywhere I go. Yes. I want to be a light where I go. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Be a light. Mm. And here's another one coming up mm. that you're going to like. This one. Mm. Don't let anyone ever dull your spark or your sparkle. sparkle. You know, yes. don't let nobody put your fire out. Mm. <laughs> because they want to do this mm. awesome. I mean, as soon as you step out the, oh, yeah. the door, yeah, yeah. they want to put your fire out. They want to put your sparkle out. Yeah. Don't let nobody do Jesus. this. That's it. I said, wait a minute. I'm going to keep my fire going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep my sparkle going. But you got to keep feeding on the right mm -hmm. things and renewing your mind with the word. If you're not doing these things, it'll go out. Why? Because you let it go out. Mm -hmm. not, it's not just going to go out by itself. Mm -hmm. You had a choice. Mm -hmm. And you chose the negative yes. instead of the positive. You chose to be out instead of being led. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let it spark. Yeah. When people see your spark, you're gonna shine. <laughs> Everywhere there's darkness, they're gonna see you. They go, mm -hmm. you're gonna bring brightness. Oh yeah. I say it's something different about you. Mm -hmm. You know they can't see. The, the, they see a difference in you, <laughs> and they don't know how what it is oh. until they ask you. When they ask you, let them know. Yeah. Jesus is my difference. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the difference. Amen. Come on. Yeah. You can do these things. You know, we hear gossips and we hear yeah. all kinds of negative stuff. Man, we can just lay it on and uh -huh. we can say things. When it comes to sharing Christ, I say, mm. oh man, I don't know if I want to say this. Mm. And we say worse things mm. and share it with them and don't care how it affects them. Mm. But when it comes to sharing the good news and sharing yeah. Jesus, yeah. oh man, I don't want to do that. Mm. But guess what? Jesus says, if you're going to be embarrassed of me, I'm going to be embarrassed of you. Mm -hmm. right. You know, I'd rather him say, mm -hmm. come into heaven, good and faithful servant, mm -hmm. instead of saying, depart from me. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You had a chance. You almost persuaded me. Mm -hmm. But now I don't, I'm not going to share it with my friends. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we got to change our friends. We got to yeah. change our companies. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> we Praise don't God. depend on other people as your source for happiness. Ugh. Come on now. This is this man. Yes. This is this is hitting home. And some of us thrive on these things. Mm. We got to let it go. You know, people don't bring me happiness. Thank Jesus you. does. Mm -hmm. God does. Amen. Ooh, man. Ooh. 
Many people, including believers, spend most of their lives defeated, beaten, overpowered, overcome, overwhelmed, crest. Mm. We're talking about believers. Mm. Uptight, tense, anxious, mm. upset, sad, troubled, no, overstressed, burdened, mm. overloaded, oh overstretched, Jesus. overstrained. Yeah. Discouraged, downcast, mm. depressed, dejected, no, disheartened, no. and hopeless. We're talking about believers. Mm. Should be like this for the believers. That's it. Amen. Wait a minute. <laughs> I serve a living God. Mm -hmm. Greater is He that sent me than He's in yes, the world. Lord. Amen. I'm going to step out in faith. Yes. I don't have to put up Thank with these Lord. things, but I have to feed on the right things. And I got to magnify the right things, not the bad things. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's one. Don't let your sadness of your past yes. and the fears of your future ruin the happiness in your presence. Amen. Amen. That's hey, good. I'm going to rejoice in today because yeah. tomorrow has got enough problems of itself. Oh, yes. Ooh, Amen. Jesus. So I'm not taking I'm not taking yeah. today's problems uh -huh. and tomorrow's problems and the next day's problems mm -hmm. and piling them up on one day. Mm -hmm. No. No, no. I'm not going there. And I'm closing with this. First Peter 5 7 everybody knows this this is the extended Bible it says this give all your worries to him cast all your anxieties on him why because he cares about you yes church it's time we understand what what this means yes give it to him and don't you take it back That's it. if you're gonna bring it to the cross leave it at the leave cross it there. don't take it back I've told you this is very simple you take your trash to the dumpster mm. and you don't go back home with the full trash can again no no, no you leave it there it's, it's bad it stinks it smells mm. all these negative things you know it's no good for you mm. it's messing up your 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 life leave it there mm. and you've given it to him now you go back clean mm. <laughs> he's cleaned us and you know I don't, I don't care how many times at first you got to go and do this mm. but mm. leave it there yeah Psalms 50, a lot of times we don't, we don't read this one, but Psalms 55, 22 says, Give, cast, throw your worries, your burdens, that which he has given you to the Lord, and he will take care of, sustain you. He will never let good, righteous people down. Amen. Why lose your happiness? Why lose your joy when you can cast and give it to him? Amen. Stay happy. Mm -hmm. Keep your joy. Don't let your joy go. Keep your spirit, your joyful batteries charged all the time. Amen. Amen. No frowns, smiles only. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. When you see smiles, you know, say, man, uh -huh. I want what she's got. I want what he's got. What, what is it? What is it? What is it making a person smile? Well, when they come to knock and, and asking you, then you tell them. You know, it's not about me. It's about my God. My God has blessed me. You know, I've had opportunities to do things. But I give God all my glory. Yes. You know, give God all the glory. Amen. Amen. So we fight a spiritual battle daily. Whether you know it or not. Ephesians 6 and 12 says this in the extended Bible. For our fight, our conflict, our struggle is not against people mm -hmm. on earth flesh and blood but against the rulers the authority the powers or uh rulers of darkness world darkness against the spiritual uh powers of evil in the heavenly places in the in the in the heavenly realms that's who you fight you know let's read it in the king james i like it in the king james uh ephesians 6 12. You know, this is the way we, we, when we start our reading about putting on the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. But Ephesians, in Ephesians chapter 6, mm -hmm. 6 and 12 says, <laughs> well, it starts at 10 and it says, put on the whole armor of God. Finally, yeah. my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that yes. he may be able to stand, to able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. And this is who you fight. Yeah. Okay. This is who you fight. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. 
-hmm. We don't fight flesh and blood. Right. But what we do is mm -hmm. we do try to fight each other. Mm -hmm. That's not the problem. Mm -hmm. That's not the problem. We're fighting a spiritual battle and we try to fight it in the in the flesh. Yeah. It ain't no match. That's it. Amen. But it says, verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, no, against powers, uh -huh. against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's who you're wrestling. Yeah. Amen. That's who you're wrestling. So, and it goes on to put on the whole armor of God, and we'll talk about that another time. Yeah. But yes, this God. is what you're fighting. It's a yes. spiritual battle. On a right. daily basis. Amen. And in order for you to succeed, you got to be in the spirit. Uh -huh. You got to be in the word. Amen. If you don't have no word and you ain't confessing the word, mm -hmm. you're defeated. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a defeated Christian. No. Amen. So, people get happy and joyful. <laughs> when things go on our way, smooth, easy, comfy, no financial problems. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vacation time, time off. And these things make people happy and joyful. Mm -hmm. Let's be happy because God, for God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Thank Amen. You. Amen. And you receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. So, yeah. right now we're going to close, but we're going to give you an opportunity. If you never accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. It's never too late. And don't be like King Agrippa, where he says, You almost persuaded me. To be a Christian, mm -hmm. you best do it now and not be too late. Boy, right. Amen. So now is the time. So all you have to do is say, "Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior." Amen. You're stepping down and you're placing Him mm -hmm. over your life. Amen. Praise God. That's all it takes. And you start living the new life. The old is out. The new is in. Mm -hmm. Start living the new life with Him. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Oh, Amen. Start living for Him. Lord, what is it you want me to do? Preparing yourself. Opening the Bible. By basic instruction before leaving earth. i got to get this basic instruction in me before I do anything. You're a soldier of God. Here's your orders. Here's your marching orders right here. Open the Word of God. Get the Word in you. Amen. Fellowship with Him and give Him thanks. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says... He's not giving you a spirit of fear, he, the spirit of infirmity. He says, by Jesus Christ, you are healed from the right of the head to the soles of your feet. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're not allowing any malfunctions in our body. I'm speaking in my body as well. Amen. Body line up with the word of God. Be healed. I'm calling you well. The Bible says that he's healed us. Uh -huh. There's no malfunctions in my body. Amen. In Jesus' name. And by Jesus Christ. I am healed. healed. And I'm confessing the word and I'm standing on the word. Amen. And so, body, you are healed mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. So, Amen. you be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise so, God. praise God. Amen. Those of you watching, those of you listening, I know God, if you've benefited from this, you know, we're giving you an opportunity to give right now. If you've never sown in this ministry, now is the time. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, mm -hmm. and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Just remember, God loves you, and we love you. Amen. And be happy. Praise God. Amen. Amen.